Hey guys, welcome back with another episode of the SS Podcast. We are here back with Michael, finally doing the damn collab. What do you What do you have to say about that? Ah, uh, this is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is. Um, before we start, I want to give a shout out to um my uncle Jenya because uh, he got me a ring, and it's from Russia. So like, it's really cool. Um, so really do like it. Thank you. Um. So, uh, do you want to go ahead and start off the conversation for this podcast? Well, I've been starting off so many conversations. I don't know what else to start with, so I'm going to let you do the honors. Okay, okay. So, Just um, because. the last three days um, have been, like, horrible. Um, it, it's just, like, a whole big mess uh, because of the series ending and everything, and you know, I'm not the greatest. I'm like, I suck at moving on. I'm not. I'm not the type of guy to do that. I just, I hold on to shit, and it, and it sucks. Like, it really gets to me sometimes. And um, you know what? You know what? Fuck it. I said this was too per. There was a few things that were too personal, but I'm gonna talk about it on the podcast because I feel like people do need to like know this shit. Um, yeah. Basically, we, uh. Everything for the past week, actually for the past month, I kind of felt like death a little bit, like, um, cause I was just I was just counting down the damn days, you know, till I won't be able to see my best friend again, and it, and it truly, and it really sucked, um, knowing that in at least a month I won't see Eddie ever again, and it and it really, it really like, dude, screwed me up a lot, like. And it kept building not to, up. Not to, like, one of those, like, dramatic movies you see that lost son. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, um, like, usually things don't bother me. Like, you know me, I'm a really chill guy. Things don't bother me. But, like, this this bothered me. This is one of the things that bothered me. And, and this, bo- this bothers me, too, because... All right, so, like, you know Jonathan Dobbin. Yes. What bothers me the fact that I never said goodbye to him on the last day. The only thing I'm able to do is just go on that damn phone and just say goodbye. Ouch. But his phone's broken, which is the which is which is sucks. But he does have I still does have I still do have his uh mom's phone number because his mom don't work on his dad, you know. Mm-hmm. Well basically, you know, at least someone needs to be home, you know, for the children, whatever. I'm not I'm not I'm not taking no um judgment on that one. Yeah. But what I am going to take judgment is Jonathan not coming down to school on the last day. And that's the thing that really pissed me off. Is because me and Jonathan been friends since the first grade. So, holy damn, that's a that's very, very long time. Oh, yeah. So, I, I get your pain. I get, I get the way how you feel. And... Like I said, I just hope it's like be that one of those type of movies that lost some movies able to see your friend again. <laughs> oh yeah. So um, so basically, things started to build up, and I started to like feel more and more like like shitty as time went on. Like I just, I don't know. Yeah, uh, more and more the the little things started to, like littlest things started to bother me. Um. You know, I don't know if any of you guys know this, but usually when something does ha- I mean, this is, like, the first time this type of shit is happening to me, but, like, usually when, um, at least for me, when something is going on, the littlest things, like, bother me. And, yeah, yeah, and I can't, like, I just don't want to- I don't- not in the mood for anything. I don't- yeah, you know, I don't- I don't want to do anything. And, um, so- I would say about a week. I would yeah, I would say like a week. Maybe I think it was like Friday or something, or or two or Sunday or it was a, it was something. It was one of the days before the last three days. It was yeah. like before the last week. I got you. And um, I was at Haley's house, and we were just like chilling, and she wanted to say something, and. It was about the girl that I, like, is madly in love with or some shit, right? Okay. And she she didn't really tell me, 
but she eventually did, and it was about that, like, said that she didn't like me anymore, and that, like, that kind of fucked me up a little. Okay, so, actually, I kind of, I'm, I'm going to tell the story out of order, because I'm an idiot, but, uh... No, no same here, man. <laughs> yeah, so... Same here, you see me in that class every time. <laughs> yeah, so, basically, like, I would say, like, 30 minutes before that, Haley brought out a punching bag just to have fun or whatever. And I looked at her stepmom and I was like, hey, if I push this on the ground, will it make a loud noise? And she said no. So I just I just pushed it on the ground and I like got on it and like with my right hand repeatedly like punched it as hard as I can. Like and that was that's like and that was like real. Like that was from the Declan Eddie stuff. Like I was literally like I could just pick these out right now. Yeah, Yeah. And I was yeah, I was it helped a lot, and I just went and snuggled with the dog after that. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my gosh, but um, yeah. So like about twenty minutes later, she tells me that, and I'm like, shit, because like I was already feeling a little retarded about that, and then she just hits me with that, and so I just I didn't even know what to say. She was like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm all right. And she's like, no, you're not. And I just sat down. I, I like, I didn't know what the hell to say. Um, fast forward another ten minutes or something, and we're all sitting down, and I'm watching just old videos of Declan Eddie, and and Haley was like, gosh, he he's so young, and I was like, yeah, I know. And Haley started crying actually, so that was like pretty, that was pretty insane. That was a fucking yeah. insane moment right there, you know. Um, I guess I had a sad moment by a Declan Eddie. Yeah, it, 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 was, it was pretty crazy. Um, and then, this is where shit gets real. Like, these are the, now the last three days of, of Declan Eddie. And, um, you know, it, it's it's the second to last day of school. So, it's the day right before. Uh, and, second period, I had to say goodbye to... Uh, fucking the uh coaches. That was sad. Um, we took a group picture. It was it was it was pretty nuts. Oh yeah, I did saw y'all took a group picture yeah. on uh the last day, or the day right before the last day. But yeah. Um, so yeah, that happened, and like me and Trace were walking away. I was like, oh man, that hurts. And he was like, yeah, I know it does, and. I, I just, like, everything just sort of gets worse, and I, I didn't, I remember walking into first period that day, not seeing Eddie, and I was already kind of mad about that, um, and, uh, when I got to fourth period, I was, like, I went over to Mr. Nimi, and I was, like, hey, is Eddie here, and he said no, and I was, like, fuck, like, I just said fuck <laughs> in front of him, he didn't care, but I said that, and I walked in the classroom, and the rest of the day, I was, like, kind of mad about it, and uh, sixth period kind of arrives, and is is where shit really like, is shit where re- where where stuff really ex- escalates, um. And like I I'm like kind of shaking a little bit. It's like towards the end of class, and I don't know I don't know what to do. I just sat there the whole time, doing nothing, and, uh. I walk up to Miss Shand, and I'm like, oh wait wait Michael, before I continue the story, you know who Miss Shand is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I had her uh, third. I had her on third period since like uh, the first day. Okay, okay, good. Um, so like I I walk over to her and I'm like, hey, Miss Shan, I feel like shit. And she was like, why? What's like straight up? Like that's that's exactly what I said. I was like, hey, Miss Shan, I feel like shit. She was like, why? What's yeah. up? <laughs> and I was like, I was like, um, you know, with everything with Eddie and and I just like stopped there. I couldn't fucking finish what I was gonna say, and I just, like, hugged Miss Shane, and I fucking started bawling my eyes out, I literally, and I didn't let go, I was just, like, di- I was dead, I was fucking crying, and, and like, on Miss Shane, and, and she was a little bit too, <laughs> so, um, it was, like, that's, like, real shit, man, that's, that's, like, such a dedication to that teacher, I have so much respect for that fucking teacher, um, same here. and, yeah, it's gonna happen, yeah, yeah, she's a good teacher, and, um, like, everyone's so confused, right? Because everyone knows me as the person not to do that type of shit. And, 
But then if it comes down to this, yeah. It, that's it, when the shit hits the fan. That, yeah, that yeah, that's when that's when it gets really real. Every you see, everyone was so confused. And I'm like, it's like I don't want, I didn't want to talk about it because then that would make it fucking worse. <laughs> so like, I just I, I tried walking out of seventh period, but there was like some people that you know wanted were at, like asking what was wrong, and I just didn't say anything because I didn't want to fucking talk about it. Um. And see, this is what I hate. This is what I hate about uh. This is what I hate about so, some people that. I feel like some people now just like cry for attention, like they do this for attention. Yeah. I don't want that shit. I fucking hate crying. It it sucks. I I don't like it. You know. I I I'm actually I feel really great now. We're almost at this. We're almost at the part where I do feel great because I fucking feel amazing right now. But um, mm-hmm. you see, you could probably agree with me that some some people are like, oh my gosh, like they're, like it's a flex, like they fucking say, oh my gosh, I hate myself, I want to die, like it, like it's some sort of flex, like that's just stupid. Yeah. I, have, I have people, and like we have people in the rec room, which is, I, I highly recommend for you, I was about to call you up to see if you got work on your computer yet, and I was like, you know, I definitely may answering and probably to understand why. Um, people's like, oh, these costumes are more better than yours and like i think you should probably get the hell out of this game and i'm like oh my god it's just like so this is some type of flex or something <laughs> <laughs> yeah like what the hell's going on over here <laughs> i don't even know i mean so oh my gosh um the last day it comes down to this okay by the way i felt a lot better after that oh yeah uh miss Sh- thank you uh by the way, she saw my story, and she and she like hearted my story because I put on my story, "Thank you, Miss Shan, for what happened in sixth grade. I needed that." And she texted me. She was like, "Yeah, I think I did too." But um, yeah, it, for real though, it was like it was nice. But um, oh my gosh, the last day finally gets here, and Eddie actually I, like actually got a little emotional, which was like which is really surprising for him. Uh, yeah, because you know a lot of people don't don't see his serious side. I mean, I've seen it multiple times, but like you, you would like, look at like Eddie, people like inside a school never seen it or yeah. something like that. Yeah, like you know, you look around the series and stuff. You just look at the he's just the guy that makes everyone laugh. Like me. <laughs> yeah, and and like it's so it's so strange to see Eddie like dead fucking serious talking about something i mean it's really nice it's really actually nice when you have a conversation he seems really fucking dumb but <laughs> he has um yeah. yeah he he does he, he has his moments like when you're really close with someone with him then he'll actually have a serious conversation with you um mm-hmm. so but basically uh the last the last pass the last hall pass in writ- written in this whole entire grade was from me and Eddie. And out of, it, like, out of any grade, like, right before school ended, me and Eddie went to get a... We, we actually... Michelle, like, wrote a pass and wrote it like the series. Like, she wrote Declan and Eddie on the name. And the hall pass, we, went, we were going to Mr. Megan to see our old teacher. I, I don't know. Do you remember him? Oh, man. Yeah. I, I, I wish I would have died. 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 I wish I would have gone down there to say goodbye to him. He was one of my bestest grade um, teachers. Yeah. He was really good. And so we had to go there because most of our friendship was, like, built off of that class. That exact class. Um, and... So we did. We went there, and and he was like, "Oh, what is this? You're wearing a tux." <laughs> I, was like, I was like, "Yeah," and it, and he was like, "So what's up?" And I was like, "You know, I just wanted to to come visit the uh, teacher that sort of built me and Eddie's friendship." And so we had a little bit of a talk. This is actually on the on the um on the last episode. I don't know if you saw the that part, but yeah. Um, I, I only pay attention to the ending. Like I said, that ending would have been like me and Jonathan right there. Yeah. Man, man, you're lucky, bro. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, so what we did is we went in there and we were just talking for a little bit. He was like, Oh yo, how's your channel? And the funny thing is he didn't know where you recorded, so that's that's fucking I found that hilarious. That 
I honestly, I find that hilarious that he asked how my channel was when I was recording, and it was like, oh, I'm like, oh, it's doing actually really amazing, and he was like, oh, well, well um, I'll get a paper and you can write it down for me. So that that's when the clip ended. I put it in my pocket so I can write it down, and I did, and I gave it to him. So um, yeah, Mr. Megan watches my videos now. <laughs> Oh, nice. So, Mr. Megan, you're out there. Yes. Have a great summer, man. Oh, for real. For real. Um, uh, now, a lot of people don't... I think I'm the only student who knows this. I'm literally the only student who knows this out of Pinellas Park um, Middle School. Uh, and I'm about to reveal this shit. Mr. Megan actually makes music. Um, I haven't heard it, but I'll ask him. And I, I would love to hear this shit because he used to make music. So, you know. I would love That's, to hear it. I never heard about that. He never mentioned that in the sixth grade. Oh, yeah. So. I, I think it was... Um, I don't know what when it was. I, I believe it was like the start of eighth grade or something. Uh, and we were just talking, and I was like, you know, I started making music and stuff, and we and we just started talking about music stuff. And then, like, he, he was like, you know, I used to make music too, and just started talking about it. So it, it's pretty cool. Um, That's good. Yeah. So, um, oh, something, by the way, uh, here's the really personal thing that I, that I said I didn't want to talk about on the podcast. Um, mm. So, and this happened earlier today. Now, um, so, like, I was, I've been really mad at my, my mom specifically because, she isn't she didn't allow me to go to Pinellas Park High School, which I really want to go there for multiple reasons. Eddie's um, going there? No, Eddie is actually not going there, but my elementary friends are. Um so I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna explain why I wanna go there, but I'm just like it's it's a really good reason why I wanna go there. Well I'm gonna I'm gonna explain uh one of um reasons I think your mom said no. Is uh because from what I heard from my mom last night over here, all right. You know, uh, long time ago, my mom asked, Oh, what high school your parents are going to? Well, Pinellas Park Middle, and I also got re recommended for my um bus driver at Pinellas Park High. Over here's my aunt cutting me off right there. Nope, 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 nope. That school's in. and Declan, trust me on this one. I heard stories. From Pinellas Park High, I'm not going to get too deep into it. All I hear, that's a bad place. That's like it's not okay. Damn. You see. So I think you're. I, th I don't. I don't think. I don't think you should be too mad now. At when when your friend's saying this because like, hey, your your friend's like one of the trusted pals you ever had, like such as Eddie. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like. Whatever you do, just be careful. If you're, if you're, well, your mom just said no, you can't go to Pinellas Park High, which is honestly a good thing. So, like, like I said, I heard stories from my mom. She used to go down there. It's not a good school, man. I, I would not recommend it. Damn. Over here's all these people, and even Ashton's going down there. I'm over here just like Ashton. You need to be careful down there. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's changed. Like, uh, there's, I'm really close with some of the workers at Astros Gate, and. He was like, yeah, man, this is my last year. I really like it. The teachers really do care. Um, and I really love that school. It was really good. So, like, I guess it's changed. But, like, you see, Dixie's horrible. Dixie's a really bad school. And, and if you're going there, that's all right. But the thing is, is that the ratings are not the greatest. But so I'm, I'm not going to go there. I don't there. think it would matter on ratings. I think it would matter on teachers. <laughs> So, um, I mean, I'm, I think I'm going now to Pinellas Park anyways, so, um, but basically, <sighs> I got in a bit of an argument about it, about my, with my mom, and, like, and we had company over too, but they were now, like, they were in another room, and so we were about to go to, out to dinner, and, um, my dad was like, you know, why don't you just go in the car with, because we were going in two different cars, so. I went, my, mm -hmm. I went with my mom, and my dad went my, with my, with, my, fuck, my dad went my, with, fuck, I can't speak, my dad <laughs> went with my Aunt Malena and my cousin, my little cousin Nico, and they went in the car, um, separately, and then me and mom 
me and my mom went into went in her Jeep. And um yeah. so like we started we uh we started pulling out and I was like, Hey mom, I need to talk to you and she was like, What's up? And I was like, I don't know, man, I just I just feel like shit and she was like, About what? I was like, just about everything. Like I literally like sorta of started crying and while we were on the way I was like just talking about everything, you know, with Eddie about like I just have how I just haven't been like feeling good at all. And yeah. like she was like and I I was literally sitting there bawling out. I was like holding my face down and shit like I like I don't want I didn't want to cry but I, but it happened and um and she was like, "Well, it's okay. I know you you get you um what did she say? That I hold on to things so much and so strong that it gets hold, like it gets bad." And yeah. this is one of those things and I was talking about I was like, "Oh my bro, the last but last time I saw Eddie, you know, we hugged and we fucking cried and shit, and I just like started crying right there. Like, shit, shit was bad. Um, but I need. I did heard like I did heard a little bit sniffling, so I figured that someone was crying right there. Oh yeah, yeah. When uh, when someone uh, yeah. So Valerie hugged me and she was crying. So and then she walked away. Um, but yeah, she was, and then like when I hugged, when me, me and Eddie hugged, we did. I cry a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um but you see I needed that. I needed that talk with my mom. And I and I also I'm not gonna say there's something too personal that has to do with yeah. my mom's uh life and I don't wanna have it out there too much, but um basically I was like, Oh yeah, and I'm not exactly okay with this and, and you know and I feel horrible because you decided to do this crap and um and I needed that because uh, I feel like I needed to talk about some of it, you know, or yeah. instead of just having it because, you know, sure, me hugging this shit and crying, I guess I needed that and it went away for a little bit, but that wasn't like the full thing that I needed. And after yeah. that talk, I felt fucking amazing. Like I literally, like I, now I do feel amazing and, and, um, like it, 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 I don't know. I hope it lasts. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> I generally do love life. Like, I, I really do. And I found myself um, in one of the places where I haven't been in three years. And that is, um, what do you call it? There is this one place that I used to go to all the time with my cousin Sasha. And and um, it was really nostalgic to go back there. And, you know, the funny thing is, is that there was this watchtower, and on the benches, there was a bunch of carvings of people's names and stuff, and I found the heart that me and my cousin carved when I was in fifth grade, and that shit was crazy to look at. It was still there after all this time, and you know, it's such a full circle thing where it's like, you know, I was talking to my, with my Aunt Marlena, and I was talking about how everything's so full circle, and I was talking about my Minecraft land team, like where Blade. He's he's one of the, he's the oldest mm -hmm. member out of all of us. Uh, he's eighteen now, um, eighteen or nineteen. And I was talking about how I was ten when I met him, and he was fourteen. And now I'm fourteen. Now I'm fourteen. Now I'm as old as him when he met me. So that's fucking crazy, you know. Um, no, you're any older than me. I'm fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um. I don't know, man. It was just weird. And the and the thing, the crazy thing is, is that in fifth grade, towards the end of the stars era, which is what we call the elementary era, um, like from third to yeah. fifth grade. And I, at the end of the stars era, I was in that same place. And what do you know? As the the perfect closure, the pull, the perfect full circle closure that I needed, I was at that place for the first time in three years, doing the same thing at the end of everything. You know. So, so, um, out of context of what we're talking about right now, uh, well, I mean, it's related to school things. It's like reunited with one of your friends, uh, me and Xavier that's talking about it. I don't think you know Xavier, the damn hyped up kid. No, yeah, I think I know him, yeah. Yeah, I know him. Um, I was thinking, uh, well, he's going to be at his grandma for a month, his great-grandma for a month, and, um, he has a saying this for another time but i don't know about you you live all the way down to pinellas right mm -hmm. yeah Largo or just in like your area uh just in the area 
just an area. Yeah. If you're down to, I will send you an address to this port that I like to go to. I'm not going to explain it because, you know, someone's just going to go on here. Oh, I'm going to meet up with Jackman for the first time. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's not the thing. But you might never know. Those people could be out of state and they could fly down to here. Oh, hey, what's up, Jackman? And I was like, yeah, what the fuck you know <laughs> Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Um, so I'll just send you the address where us two could reunite. Again, we could try to do a series of that can make you a little feel better. So, I mean, I'm also been trying to do a series too. Um, I've been waiting for like months and months to do a in person co- collab, but like we don't live in you know a area that we're able to see each other, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, we, 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 I've been planning on, like, maybe I could come over and we could go down to Skyview Park or whatever, and, and over here just, like, not going to work out, because, like, you live far, and I live far. I live all the way down to St. Pete. And when I say all the way, I mean all the way down. I don't live, like, you know, half a mile. I live, like, 15, 14 miles. Okay. Uh, at least that's one what I think of, but... If you want to, I'll send you an address where us two can reunite. Okay, okay. Either tomorrow, either Saturday, Sunday. We have a whole entire Sunday we can reunite. That's very true. That's true. So just uh, after the podcast, just let me know how you feel about it. Yeah, of course. Um, so the end, uh, like, me and Eddie are walking to the spot where, we, where our parents picked us up. And the bu- the people are the bu- the school bus is coming by right, and people are yeah. fucking rolling down their windows and screaming Declan and Eddie and that shit was like oh my gosh that was cool, <laughs> yeah <laughs> thank you guys because that like it shows that you guys really care, you know and the people on the bikes walking by Declan and Eddie like bro like come on dude that's fucking cool like like your damn popular inside of school more than anyone else. Like, you know what I mean? Wait, I know that, but it's just cool. It, you know, it's cool. Like, to show, it just shows how much people care about that crap and how much people care about it ending, you know, and how how much, how important the ending of that series was to people because it really was. Um, yeah. You know, everywhere I, everywhere I was walking, I was hearing someone talk about the end of the show or, or counting down the days, like, okay. Yeah, I'll be back and handle a dog problem. <laughs> my dog's barking. She only can see shadows, which is not to her advantage, but still, if she's barking a bit too loud, she'll wake up my parents. Alright, all right, I'm just going to kind of quick. I'm surprised that she actually trusts. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, continue. Oh yeah. So, um, something cool actually happened. Oh, by the way, before I explain this shit, uh, I'm making a book about middle school. Um, so, yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> uh, so, basically, um. I actually had, like, a heart-to-heart talk with Dr. Shedrick, and it was really nice. (laughs) Um, I'm not going to explain it right now because uh, you'll you'll see it in the book, but uh, we, like, he took me, and we were walking to my fifth period, and we were just chilling, and we were having a general heart-to-heart conversation, two guys in two different seats talking to each other. It was pretty nice. Um, So, yeah, that, that happened. Uh, mm-hmm. So, what, what I really want to know is there is there like anything you want to say about everything? Um, a lot of things to actually say. Um, for any fifth graders or like fourth graders moving on to like middle school, well, fourth graders are going to move on to fifth grade, obviously. But like fifth graders, I highly do recommend Post Park Middle. I mean, yeah. Fights and whatever, don't like, don't recommend getting to fights, you know, doing all that type of They don't really yes. happen because of our mm, principal, anyways, so. Oh, yeah, because of the principal, like, strict. Mm-hmm. Good principal. Highly recommend principal. Uh-huh. 
in the fifth graders going on to middle school, try out Pinellas Park Middle. If you live around Pinellas Park or St. Pete, recommend. So, um, second thing I have to say, Pinellas Park Middle from the beginning, holy, like, that thing was like, just like built like, well, this obviously built like whenever, like I said. I seen I seen the yearbooks from 1984 or something like that or something like that. Some shit like that. Damn. It's crazy. That's <laughs> I'm not I'm I have nothing else to say. Just continue. <laughs> but yeah, I actually I have a few friends that are in fifth grade currently right now or just graduated, and I am recommending them a lot of them to Pinellas. So yeah. Yeah. But what the fuck, man? They get to, them, them motherfuckers get got graduation. I mean, okay. <laughs> what? Like, <laughs> how does that make any sense? Like, uh, the whole, okay, like, basically, their whole front group is in a whole entire school. So it's not just like a bunch of random fifth graders from different schools. But, like, they're just all yeah. in the same school. But they got to fucking have a graduation and we didn't. What the fuck, man? That's some bullshit. And they got that fucking yearbooks too. What the fuck? Man. <laughs> like question <Christ>, mark? <laughs> that's fucking dumb. <laughs> so that's so Like stupid. where's our yearbook? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, at least you don't get yourself a free book just in case you like to read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like Jack, and then he can get himself a damn writing book for all I care. He writes a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um Everyone, okay, so everyone, like, thinks that I am going to become big, which I don't doubt that, but, like, uh, even especially Miss Shan, I know I, w I was talking to her earlier, and I was like, hey, you're definitely going to be in the book about middle school, and she was like, hey, when you're famous, get me a cop, a signed copy or some shit. It was just, that's just funny. You know, it's nice. Yeah. Hey, um, I do have to go to bed around, like, 2, so I think podcast can end right there, so not right here, right now, it's, like, around, like, 2. In a little bit. I mean, it's not gonna be that long anyways, uh, let's see. Uh, podcast can't be, like, an hour or so, that could be, like, a damn stream. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can, like, um, uh, end it in about 10 minutes, and then um, I'm gonna try and go to bed. Hopefully it works, I don't know, but. So, like I said, talk to me after the podcast, well, Try to do something. I, I can't do it tomorrow. That's all. That's all I can up say. Oh yeah, I, I can't either. Uh, I I have to go hang out with my nieces, and then I'm gonna go to Astro. So. Oh nice. Can I go? Um, to Astro? Yeah, of course you can. I mean, I can't pick you up, but like, if you're able to go there, then yeah, of course you can. Oh shoot, being picked up. Um. Dad goes to work on on tomorrow, right? Tomorrow's Friday. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. All right, it's not Monday, because I have no transportation. <laughs> okay. I mean, hopefully we can work out something. But um, other than that, guys, uh, I really enjoyed this podcast. Uh, it, this collab was so random. It was really it was random. Like... But I, I enjoyed it. I did. But, um... But yeah, uh, you have anything to say before we end off the episode? Uh, I might be doing some for Declan. Not, um, it will, I don't think it'll be today. It depends what time it is. It's twelve twenty-one. It's a beatboxing thing for uh, the ending of series. The ending of the series of Declan and Eddie. So oh, any of y'all want to pay attention to me? Well, I want to say pay attention because uh, honestly, pay attention to Declan and stuff too. <laughs> um, y'all were uh, y'all are interested to see the um video? I re recommend it's like a beatboxing thing. I like to do it for YouTubers and whatever. But no, some people some people don't like beatboxing. But hey, who gives a shit? There's some people who like beatboxing, some people who don't. So I'm sure one of the four hundred of them know. Uh, do you like yeah. it? Well, um. So I'm pretty much going to say uh, thank y'all for coming down to the podcast and uh, just mass gamer and I'll see y'all soon. <laughs> yeah, so um, 
yeah, so like you said, we'll see y'all soon. Uh, it's been really good. Peace. Alright, son, close down.